Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. It is Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And we are ready to talk some Monday Night Raw with you. And, of course, I have with me my compatriot from Poughkeepsie, New York. He's the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Sorg, I feel like this Raw was missing something. What was it missing? Becky Lynch. It was missing Becky Lynch, but that's SmackDown. <laughs> to be fair, everything is missing Becky Lynch. This is true right now. Right now, is like if like... Becky Lynch just showed up on Arrow, yes, it'd be okay. If, Be-, if Becky Lynch showed up on Teletubbies, I'd fucking watch the shit out of that Teletubbies. Why aren't we pushing the shit out of her being a Marine? Because that probably sell a lot more digital copies. Um, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I need to go get the other Marines out of the library so I can watch the new one. I've never watched the Miz one. I hear they're better. They're they're pretty good. They seem like they should be better. Yeah, but, but anyways, this is about Monday Night Raw, and this is where um I'm going to do a complete one <laughs> one eighty. And uh, you know what else is missing from w- from Monday Night Raw? Charlotte Flair dismemberment. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> But uh, we did have an hour segment slash match. As you said, an hour of Baron Corbin. That was exciting. Mm. Uh, Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it, it, we we did have we did have that. And uh, I kind of wondered what we were going to do with the rest of the show at that point. Um, but uh, but anyway, so, no, it was uh, – I thought it was fine for that. And weird that we kind of had an, a, an add-on Survivor Series match as part of our Survivor Series hangover. I mean that I I don't like Braun makes bad business deals. Yes he does. Yes he does. It's just like we don't think about the consequences of the deals we did to to like oh yeah I won SmackDown or I won I won Survivor Series and beat SmackDown but then like like if I was Braun do you know what I would have done? Hmm. Because Stephanie was at Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. I would have gone to Stephanie right after Brock beat Daniel Bryan said guess what you said I can have my universal title match Mm. he's here now I'm gonna go do that like money in the bank style like because Stephanie said done like there was no further negotiations Stephanie said he has the match Mm -hmm. so I mean granted she's a heel so lying is kind of in her nature but still (laughs) Like, Braun is a terrible business negotiator. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, he, he also, um, so I, I imagine we'll get to see the title match at, uh, at, at, at Royal Rumble. And we've probably written Braun Strowman off of television. Uh, just for, well, sorry, we have to build the TLC for a month. That is true, because it's some time. So, so Braun really? is going to be off TV for two weeks. Wait, we've gone from, like, having something, like, every two weeks to, like, we're going to wait a month for another pay-per-view that, that seems odd to me it no it always happens yeah it know september october i don't know why mm-hmm. but they always try to cram everything in i have no clue why it's weird it's weird maybe it's a fiscal quarter thing well to be fair we also this sunday we have star k which was not mentioned once was not advertised once yes tonight. it was yes really? it was yes really? it was you're not paying attention sword. i didn't catch got, it you gotta watch them lower thirds you gotta watch them bumpers you gotta watch them promos son. they slid them in they slid them into your lower thirds are you kidding me Mm-hmm. girl you gotta watch them lower thirds though oh, whatever whatever Okay, <laughs> geez. So, so this is going to be an absolutely insignificant show. I'm not watching it live. I think I'm visiting. No, f- don't. No, I'm, don't. I'm, I'm visiting some family Sunday. I'm not going to go no, on my way for unless this. Unless they're showing the whole three hour show, because Bullshit. the card, the card actually seems really good. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we can show a certain other thing for the whole five hours, and maybe not Starcade. All right, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. 
Anyways, yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, Survivor Series hangover. Over, uh, um, I think uh, Dave, Dave says Sorg. We were also missing the Universal Champ. <laughs> I don't know if I was missing him, Dave. <laughs> uh, somebody had to go back to the Canadian farm. Um, do do do. Live to tape. The event is on Saturday for Starcade. Yeah. So yeah, it's on Saturday, but still, like, there could be cameras there. We could have just recorded the whole thing all and right. showed it all on Sunday. Stuff's gonna happen. Um. I want to talk about Dean Ambrose. <sighs> okay. But if you want to talk about Dean Ambrose, I'm going to go hide somewhere in my room. Okay. I'll come back in 25 minutes. Okay. And then I'll want to talk about Dean Ambrose, and then you'll have to leave <laughs> to go somewhere for a half hour. Okay. And you'll have to come back, and by the time we both want to talk about Dean Ambrose, we're just going to talk about Seth Rollins. <laughs> I don't. You know what? That's a good recap of what tonight was like. <laughs> it's uh, like, all right. Uh, uh, it, wait, 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 let's roll this back. Let's roll this yeah. back. Okay, Tina's Tina's uh, saying what's in my mind about um, about us getting these kind of Moxley vibes. I was catching up on my network watching uh, today uh, while I was working on some other stuff, and uh, I did watch the Chronicle on Dean Ambrose. Uh-huh. Which is always like it's little kind of partial storyliney, partial not storyliney kind of stuff. To, usually, mm-hmm. I don't. I've done like three of them, I guess. Um, and and uh, I I thought it was interesting. It was um, uh, it, it, it it led into the kind of the background. You know, remember when we read the WWE magazines or the comic books, and there was all like the background of why Seth turned and everything like that. That's what oh, this yeah. felt. That's what this felt like. And you okay. got a little bit of that. And, and so I I think I think because of that tonight was enhanced for me. Like I got okay. the background story, and maybe that's why I'm enjoying it a little bit more than you. Uh, also, I'm not haven't been as big of a detractor of, of Dean Ambrose for as long as you have, I think. But this is, um, uh, and that's what Tina says uh, is probably as, as close to Moxley as we'll get, unfortunately. Thing is, on Chronicle, he talks about the Moxley days. He talks about the barbed wire and thumb tax days, um, and how he's surprised he didn't get as injured as he is he was this time from all that stuff, right? Um. And he talks about like a lot of his, you know, his importance to the shield and and whether it was worthwhile and, and all this kind of stuff, which again kind of leads to this. Uh, and also, he's again he's you know, plays into the lunatic and not in that f- wacky, crazy lunatic but, way that but, we've had I mean, before. But he, uh, and and I'm with all that. But okay. here's my here's my major problem with it. Why? Didn't he just attack Rollins when he first came back? Oh, watch Chronicle. It'll explain it. Uh, okay. He still wasn't sold on on, I, on it yet. I I really shouldn't have to watch that. It was it's, it's, no no but but no but you know what I mean like I shouldn't have to watch that. I should be able to just watch Raw mm-hmm. and have that question answered for me. You would think, right? You would think. I, you would think because that's that's a proper storytelling is. But no, but he still he still talks about it. He still talks about how, you know, the shield you know the shield isn't what it used to be. Like the thread tonight. Just take the thread tonight of what it, what it was about tonight. Forget the week the week and he, why he should have attacked when he he attacked and everything like that. But he talked about this whole like 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 paying for your sins idea. Um, Mm-hmm. Like that was interesting and kind of heavy when he brought up Roman and and uh, was kind of another level of something, uh, you know the the cat and mouse game tonight, which was kind of reminiscent to the. <laughs> some I forget who tweeted tonight. Um, hey hey Seth, just follow the camera guys. They know where Dean is. Um, mm-hmm. You know that kind of thing. Like 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 we had with uh, Corbin and Braun last week. Again, it was a nice thread. It's, it was a nice needle of thread through the rest of the show. Which was basically like we had we had one section, uh, which was the big guys mixed match challenge, um, and the, 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 then we had two hours of raw, which kind of felt good because if you just took the two hours of raw and you took that hour match and separated them, we actually got some good programming. I feel. Yeah, it, I mean it wasn't bad, but it, it was. I don't know. It just it didn't seem like a post pay per view raw. I thought it felt a lot like a post pay per view raw, mainly because of the Ronda Rousey uh, title defense. Yeah, but that wasn't advertised. And also, we so. Well, I mean, you think they'd want to advertise that? Um, I think I or think, or at least put something out that say, 
Ronda Rousey wants to defend her title tonight. All right, I want to roll this back. I want I, I want to re reframe the show. I want to reframe the show on. Did you enjoy Raw? What did you enjoy and not enjoy about Raw? And not did we market this appropriately? I I wasn't. I didn't overly enjoy it. Like it was it was mm-hmm. kind of white noise. Okay. It was kind because of, like that first match was way too long. Mm-hmm. That fir- that first match lasted over three commercial breaks. Mm-hmm. That that to me, especially with it meaning nothing, so yeah, it meant except- nothing. You knocked them out and you set up for TLC. Okay, but why were Finn and Elias there? But uh, to give some some face rub mm-hmm. to uh, Braun. You could have done the exact same thing with just doing that handicap match that I was proposing earlier in the evening. Okay, okay, but then it, it wouldn't have lasted an hour. Exactly, and then you had something for Elias and Finn to do, and they've, Sorry, they've we just saw we just saw all six of the all six of these guys, with the exception of Baron, wrestle a whole elimination match last night. Yes, well, Again, Eli- like, yeah, Elias wasn't there. Oh right, Eli- Elias wasn't there, but like, and where was Dolph Ziggler tonight? I don't like know. Dolph, Dolph was a part of that winning. He game. was busy straightening his hair. Dolph doesn't straighten his hair. I thought he was Tyler Breeze when he popped up on uh, in the backstage last night. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. That's pretty bad. Yep. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. It just, it, I don't know. It was, uh, I wasn't overwhelmed. I was, I wasn't underwhelmed. I was just well. Yes. It was point. a perfectly adequate raw. There was enough to happen for me. Um, but I but did, considering I, how I, hot WWE has been the past couple of days. Yes. This should have been more. I mean, this is not your. Wait a minute. I mean, this isn't. This isn't Raw after Mania. I mean, this isn't. Yo, know, I think SummerSlam had a good post like uh, reaction. Well, so that's that New York crowd. That's pretty nutty to begin with. Um, you know, it. it, it yeah, I, I think. Yeah, they're coming off Survivor Series, which is probably like one of the better feeling Survivor Series I've 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 watched in a long time. Um, you you had Ronda coming out there responding to last night because he can't have anybody directly respond to last night because everybody's on a different show right well, you, you, you had, absolutely you can you absolutely can why couldn't you because we're going to separate things to make it special and mm-hmm. we'll see what what comes on down the line maybe there'll be a trade or something and and ronna goes after charlotte or whatever the case may be <laughs> that's, that's cute there's yeah you know cute. you never there's know not, there's not gonna be a trade you never know what's gonna happen no uh, no you, you can tell <laughs> There's not going to be a trade. A trade would involve like doing something. Like, uh, we'll I don't see. Know. It gets pretty wacky over the holidays, know. Mike. You know what I think? You it never is. know. Whatever we want for Royal Rumble in that big uh, ball field uh, coming you know what up. I think it is. This is a very heel heavy Raw, and I don't like any of the heels on Raw. Very heel heavy. Uh, we we can Baron, like Dean, and Baron. Dean, Baron, Tamina, and Nia. I yeah no uh, Tamina like, Tamina is just extra baggage on Naya right now. The Naya 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 has nuclear heat uh, thanks to thanks to the Becky thing, um, but, and and that's fine. It, that's that's kind of it's there. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, but but none of the heels on Raw seem especially threatening to me. Really, because, really the, yeah. the the big team of of Drew Bobby and and Baron like the biggest dudes on the roster. Yep, they don't seem threatening to me at all. I, I, Drew is getting there on for me. Uh, I no, he's Psycho Sid. Mm-hmm. That doesn't work. I'm with Dave on this. Like I, I did like that Ronda came out, wanted to fight, and uh, and, and did get a go decent yeah. match with with Mickey. Uh, I, I'm with Dave but, that he's saying that she she she. You know, she was smiling when she first came out, whereas she, she should literally be... smiles every single time she comes out, and Ron... it bothers the ever loving shit out of me. Rhonda doesn't know the how to. Only... Con... Rhonda does not know how to control her emotions. Rhonda, is... Rhonda, act like you've fucking been there for before. You've been there since WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to mark out every time you hear your goddamn entrance theme. I'm just so happy to be here. She's just so happy to be here. Also, she's, she's a bad. She's the fucking champion. The only person that should smile every single time they come out is Bailey. Because that is her character. That is true. That is true. She should never Ron- not smile. Ronda should not be like, ah, look at me. I just got beat with a Kenda stick 37 times. Jeez. Hey, guys. Jeez. That's what she does. It is. It is. No, I'm with like, you on that. She, like, and 
she wasn't even selling. She wasn't selling the fact that she got destroyed last night. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it it just bugs me. And like they and like they did her makeup so you couldn't see like hardly any of the bruises. What are you talking about? There was a giant one like a like a, right up on her ear. There was uh the 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 whips on her on her like her side or her arm or something like that. They were showing this stuff. I know. Like what but, more th- was there? You know. I I wanted it to look like Becky looked on SmackDown. Wait, wait, wait. These people actually got fucked up, Mike. We don't need to make up Sorg. anything. Sorg, Sorg, if you look at the exclu- at the video on dot com, yeah, where Becky finds out she couldn't wrestle, and then you look at what Becky looked like on SmackDown, there are embellishments. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but like like but all right, so so even if even if they don't want to show like the more hardcore bruising, she didn't sell. Yeah, no, I'm with you. How did she sell a fucking thing from last night? She didn't sell a blessed thing from last night. And just steamed Mickey James. I love you went from fucking to blessed. Well yeah, like, of course. I like I like how you're down ramping during the course of this talk. I try, but it, it was it's just irritating. Like if you're really a fan of this, you should know how this works. Otherwise, like, I, I, I and this is one, uh, 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 one leave Renee, Renee alone. <laughs> oh, I, I feel bad for Renee. Yeah, Seth, Seth said he's never heard Dean say the word love before. That must be a great marriage. <laughs> There's some signs here, guys. We're real, like, uh, like, like I'm, right, I'm worried I, about Renee now. Like I like Renee. Can we move her to SmackDown? Just this, just some separation. Just just bring Saxton <laughs> over. I <laughs> yeah. Let's let's switch Renee and Saxton. This is getting weird. Like because like it, uh, okay, it's here's... uncomfortable because you can hear the the silence during every single Dean Ambrose. But she segment. was responding and getting over Seth getting back at Dean like she was supporting that action against her husband it's just like wait a minute what kind of fucked like, up marriage like, do you have like the, the raw commentary team shouldn't should pass the Bechdel test the Bechdel right? where, where a woman on there has her own agency and doesn't just talk about a man the whole time yeah 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 and so like, we were kind of like, bad about it with the evolution show yep like can we just remove Renee to Smackdown like it's it's sketchy enough that the first night she's on commentary is the night Dean Ambrose returns. Oh yeah, it was like like I'm all for Renee being a commentator. I just need her away from Ambrose. You there's know, a reason why Daniel Bryan's healed. There's a reason why Bree went to Raw so that Daniel Bryan could do his heel turn. And so Bree could do her heel turn for, for that regard. Happened. Is uh, they're, they're talking about? They're talking about football in the chat room. Does Los yeah. Angeles have a football team again now? Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, how about that? Okay, they're they're the Rams. Sorg. Los Angeles technically has two. Uh, technically has two football teams. What? The Chargers as well. How did they go to nothing to two of them? What the hell are they? NFL NFL is weird. It is weird. Do they have Las Vegas team yet? Not yet. Couple years. Couple years. So the, Ra- the Raiders. The Raiders are going, so that's that's the Rock show on HBO coming true. Yep. Yeah, because that was like the complete plot. Yeah, of but it's three. all it's also Entourage coming true. Every every single show that has dealt with sports has said that and if, that Vegas is going to give football. HBO. HBO seems to be. We should look at those backers. I bet somebody from Time Warmer is invo- involved in that now. Bro. <laughs> or AT and T. Um. I I have nothing else for this. I enjoyed Raw. God, Mike, I'm giving Raw two and a half hours. Oh, that's way too much. I, I enjoyed it. It was that's, fine. Really? I had did, fun. Did, did you enjoy all the pee jokes? I enjoyed the pee jokes. I enjoyed the pee jokes. Man, they're assholes in catering. Is there, Mike, have, do you have to endure the... Never mind. Hey, Sorg. I was going down a road I wasn't supposed Sorg. to go down. You're in trouble now, all ah! right? Ah! <laughs> ah! But Titus I, O'Neil. I, Why is Titus I, O'Neil? Hey, Titus. Snitches get stitches, okay? And Titus, like, well, no, Titus. Titus, he's usually the butt of everyone's joke. Yes. He rarely gets a chance to make fun of someone else. 
No, I was talking about he. So wait, he was on that too, right? But he yeah. also he also called out, "Hey, um, Seth, he's this way." Well, I, yeah, and you know what? We and got double been, the Titus tonight. It would have been much smarter if, while Seth was being interviewed by Charlie, you just saw Seth walking, uh, Dean walking around the background. <laughs> like, see, that's the smart way to do that segment. That's uh, yeah. Like, we'll do. I don't think we want to humor humor Dean at this point. We want like kind of nutty. No, but that's not humor. That's him stalking Seth. Yeah, yeah. That's him stalking Seth and outsmarting him. Where's nothing, Dean? I'm not, I'm not saying he's behind there like eating a banana, being all woo. One giant game of Where's Dean tonight. Mad Mike, how much of Raw was watchable this evening? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. And that's pushing it. Wow. Remember, I gave it like like 15 minutes last week. Last week. Yeah, well, last week sucked. Last week was, yeah, the last 15 minutes was like the best thing. Yeah, going. that was it. Uh, except for that last 15 minutes, Changed everything the world. else was really. Changed the world, man. And and then we did nothing with it. Oh, uh, well, I mean, no, nothing. there were things. There were things. I think it led to some of the things. Well, I, think, I think it escalated some of the things that we saw in Survivor Series. Yes, but all right, but I'm saying this week none of that was capitalized on. Oh no! Oh no! Not at all. That's that's no. what I, that's what I'm saying. It's business as usual. From, from this one week. raw to oh, one we're done. Raw, nothing was capitalized. <laughs> like uh, I was, I was hoping we'd have something like. Remember, remember when, um, there was a raw Survivor Series team like years ago that if the raw team won. Each member of the team could be general manager for a night. Yeah, you remember? You remember? I was really hoping we could do something like that. You remember what that team included? Yeah, Maven. Yeah, Maven and Randy mm-hmm. Orton. Yep. And and a, 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 a Canadian wrestler X. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. But, but actually, I know why we can't do that anymore because they don't want a universal title shot. <laughs> that's a problem. It's a problem. A huge problem. Oh well. And, oh well. Uh, I I don't know. That's okay. We can play hide and seek. I just man, I still I I, I didn't get to catch the Dean Ambrose in the Burning Barrel uh, last week, and I really wanted to find the um the uh, debut of Akeem, the African Dream. Mm, okay, I can probably find that because for you. because I feel like that's in the same alleyway. Nope. No, I don't believe so. No, no, Akeem, Akeem didn't have that nice of a car. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, I know it wasn't an alleyway. It was like out back on a parking garage, but still, in mm-hmm. my mind, canon. Also, uh, back to the P thing. Uh, once again, we're reminded that Impact Wrestling is canon because King Maxwell <laughs> said he can help him with the potty issues. <laughs> Wait, what? King Max? There was a that? tweet. I dropped it in the Wrestling Mayhem show group. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. That's amazing. It's, a, it's like my, my training buddy um, needs help <laughs> oh. with his, his, uh, his, his potty training. Uh, so so basically, Matt Hardy is the best part of Raw. Yes. Yes, still. Like okay. He's not even on it. Oh, Potter says Raw well, training. Um, where's Bray Wyatt? Yeah, where is Bray? That's a good question. Who yeah, I, I don't know. I ask these things from time to time. Like, where's Bray Wyatt? He's, where's Ember Moon? Is he healed yet? Ember Moon. Yeah, where is Ember Moon? Uh, Wait, she Ember, was nowhere. Ember Moon was on main event. What the? What? Yeah. What are we yeah. even doing here? No one knows, Sword. Oh. It, it's because we have a female Brock Lesnar as champion. Oh. And we can't have... The, the only good characters we have, female-wise, on Raw are The Faces and Alexa Bliss. I and like Alexa, Riot Squad. And, nope, nope, Riot Squad. Okay, okay. Give me Riot, Riot Squad. Squad. Riot Squad, yes, but they're not going to push the Riot Squad. They just had a big thing with Natalie tonight. Natalia. Natalia the... Yeah. If you think a feud with Natty is a push... It's not a push, but they're doing something. You can't do something with all of the 20 girls on Raw. I'd I'd rather have a three woman riot squad going after Ronda Rousey than Tamina and Nia Jax. Oh, like a like a pack of jackals. Yep. I like it. I like yes. it. I like it. Make it make it happen. Slip that under somebody's door. Let's have a raw. That's awesome. Oh uh God, guys I wish I wish they'd listen. Was it Ember oh Ember was visiting the fire victims. That seems ill timed. What? 
Her oh. name is Ember. Ooh. Yeah. Also, we really should not have written "burn it down" a lot in LA. <laughs> really. Oops. Oops. Really, really, really shouldn't have done that. that that's that's like Shane Helms wrestling in New Orleans. Doesn't work. Oh, yeah. Yep. There it is. There it yeah. is. So, sometimes you know some things don't work out the way they should. Nope. Nope. My I just hope, I just hope SmackDown is better tomorrow. Tina says twenty minutes watchable, but she also like kind of watched it vicariously through Twitter. Because of the football game, uh, so to I don't know. To be fair, still not entirely inaccurate. Yeah, she was not a fan of Rob. I overestimated. You overestimated? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Yeah, uh, I I can't tweet about Lucha anymore. No, it's could, very sad. You could rewatch Lucha, and you I'm, know what? You could you could start watching like Triple A. Oh no. CMLL uh, CMLL uh, streams for free. I no, I I need to watch something on the TV. I wa I watch it's too much wrestling on monitors. Chromecast. And I, Sorg, we, we've been over this. I do not have one of those TVs. Or a well, no, no, no. Chromecast is like a little dongle. I no, have but one. I'll send you an Sorg, extra one. Sorg, Sorg, Sorg. Th there's no HDMI cord on this television. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's that's like my room. Yeah. <laughs> we, like... we have. I have a tube TV here, Sorg. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have a similar issue, but. It is, it like, is sad. I, it, I, I can just rest a Chromecast on top of there and, and hope it gets absorbed through uh, osmosis. Just have but... a possessed doll follow you on Twitter. No! No, I already have that, and I don't <laughs> want any more of those. Uh, guys, it's so much fun. A lot of stuff this weekend. Um, um, our friends RWA and Rise Wrestling uh, all available over at IndieWrestling.us. A lot of stuff. We had Breakfast with Champions, Mike. With Champions? Breakfast with Champions. We had the IWC... Rise Wrestling and KSWA champions Jack Pollock, uh, Reaper Matt Connard, and Gavel David Lawless right here in the studio talking about their path to the championship as uh, as Pittsburgh people. Um, so <laughs> that sounds weird, but go check that out. That is uh, the first uh, tomorrow. The first five minutes we're going to put up on our YouTube for IndiaWrestling.us, and I believe. The facebook as well um about uh, uh two minutes of that is now up on the twitter account for uh, indie wrestling dot us uh, us indie wrestling on twitter uh so it's a fun conversation part one was up this week and uh, also you can go over to indie wrestling network that's www.indiewrestling.network and you can check out for free duke and doe's hardcore memories episode one and Rise Wrestling from uh, back in February for free. Go sample some of the wares over there at the Indie Wrestling Network and go check that out. Um, we do not have any special guests planned so far for uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Tuesday at 9 p.m. But we will be. D I I I Mike, it's time to find out what we're thankful for in wrestling. Uh, it'll be the Thanksgiving episode. Be prepared to hear me say Becky Lynch a yes, lot. Yes, probably a lot. I, uh, honestly, I may just spend the entire show reading her Twitter feed. I'm also thankful David Arquette would not be doing uh, hardcore wrestling, and that um, I'm not hiding in the front in the front row of uh, Survivor Series. Uh, I got kicked out. Uh, we'll talk about all that kind of fun stuff uh, <laughs> going on Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you so much. Everybody, thank you, Mike, for joining me and, oh, and thank you, Sword, laying your opinions unabashedly. Hey, you know, some someone has to be the curmudgeon, mm. all right? Yeah, someone has to be like yep. Mad Mike and the rest of the internet. Why? Well, I I like to think I speak for the trees. You speak for the trees. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm the Lorax. I never finished that movie. Uh, Sorry, I saw, I saw the Grinch this weekend. I'm in a Dr. Seuss movie. I will not watch the Grinch until after Thanksgiving. Damn it. Sork, sork, sork. That's cute. You haven't worked retail during this time of the year, have you? No, not not for a while. Not for a, yeah. uh, long enough to remember. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time as I cue the outro. Until then, keep it raw. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time in the This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.